Bochi is going into his eighth season as Giants manager. He has two World Series titles and was the National League Manager of the Year when he skippered the Padres back in 1996. This will be his 20th year as a Major League skipper. We asked the 58-year-old Bochi if a new season ever gets old. You know, like, uh, Gary, I, I guess, you know, at some point, it, 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 it'll let you know if you're starting to get yeah. old. Right now, I, I'm excited to get going. I'm in my 20th year, and I still feel the same. And But if that changes, I guess that's when it's time when you say to yourself, hey, it's time to step down. But right now, I, 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 nothing's changed as far as my enthusiasm to get ready for the season. When you're walking the streets this off season, any different than when you won the championships those two years? I'm curious how fans related to you. Oh, the mantra this year, hey, it's an even year. we got to win this year. Oh, okay. I mean, so yeah. that's the one you're hearing all the time. You, you never say anything more than you want to say, right? You know, I never see you crack and, you know, Henry Schulman, I have to answer you. You know, you, you do it just the way you want to. But when you're home at night, do you ever, do you ever say, so what the hell is this guy picking on me for? Do you ever say, who the hell did you play for? Uh, I, well, Gary, we're all, I mean, we're all human. Uh, yeah. So, you know, and, and one thing Bobby Cox told me years ago uh, when I first started managing, he says, I, I'm going to give you a little advice. And I thought it was going to be something on the field. Yeah. He said, don't listen to radio shows. Yeah. Don't. Because oh, yeah. they'll, you know, it'll frustrate you. And, uh, you know, times you'll get ticked off. And uh, it could even affect you how you manage. But you have to understand in this job, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like being the president. You know, half the people like you, half don't, yeah. or, or you're moves whatever but now with his social media I wonder if that's changed the whole dynamic for you is that people are writing blogs and coming out of nowhere oh huh? no yeah. question yeah uh, you know the all the bloggers and everything I have a nephew that calls me uh, <laughs> he's funny you know especially when the first couple of years we had some tough years he's going uncle Bruce they want your head they want yeah. your head you know he I said would you quit bearing yeah. bad news to me you know this job's <laughs> tough enough and I have you uh, reminded me you know how many people do uh that is, question you know what the comeback is who wants my head is it the, is it Sabian <laughs> then I'll worry about it but if it's right. you know the yeah. blogger what do you think of the money today Let's say a pitcher pitches every fifth day making 25 million so some guys get a darn near million dollars a start you think the game's getting away from the fans a little bit where it's harder to relate you know I, I do think you have to be concerned about it but at the same time uh, you know you you're looking at these television contracts yeah, and the it. money's there and yeah. uh, the clubs are going to, you know, you give them credit, they're going to try to build a winner and, and spend the money to uh, do that. So I, I'm all for players getting what, what yeah. they sh uh, deserve. Uh, if they, if it's there, you know, hey, yeah. so be it. You know, it could well, be Nobody's begrudging. I guess I'm just curious if, if you see any separation from that. And certainly the media and the fans who are, you know, just trying to get by and baseball players living pretty high. You know, I, I, I can't say that because I, I think the players do a better job of making themselves available now to the fans mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, you know, showing more appreciation to them. You now, the players do a great job yeah. now, now, and part of it is, you know, the social media, you know, the Twitter and everything. And uh, so it, it's, it's become closer between, I think, the player and the fan than ever before. Yeah. Here's a hell of a question. Is there anybody on the team doesn't have to be a catcher, but somebody you see yourself in in uh, in him, you go. This kind of reminds me when I was playing. So um, you jumps know what? Out at you. Well, there's no no comparison skill level, but I, yeah. I look at Buster Posey. Yeah. You know, I I probably had his uh, demeanor and his uh, mm. you know his way. Uh, you know, just kind of go about your business, very professional. Yeah. I, I like to think. Uh, uh, I wish I'd have had that talent. My checks would have been bigger, but, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, the, the way he uh, handles himself, I, I'd, I'd say that was probably the closest to me. Then you have 100 Pence, who's just the opposite. Yeah. And, uh, but then, you know, they're all, once they hit the field, they're all the same as how, how much they want to win. Pence on that scooter. What is the deal? I mean, there's no rule against riding a scooter into the clubhouse? I mean, we, we may have to put one on. I, I know he's getting a pretty big motor on that thing. You know, you know it, it's funny, uh, Gary. When, you know, when he signed that extension, you yeah. know, he said, "You know what?" And it was about 12:31 in the morning. We're, we're in my office. Larry Bear, yeah. Hunter, and myself. We got it done. Shook hands. We're excited. He goes, "I bought a glass of wine." And yeah. so we we had a, gl a glass of wine. And he's getting on that scooter. So now I'm thinking he's going to get a DUI going to, <laughs> down in the middle of the street at one in the morning on this yeah. thing. Yeah. When you see what the Dodgers are doing. You know, I, I know you're probably tired of hearing this. You believe that money can buy championships? 
you spend 15 million on a guy you don't like him, you, you get another one. So that's that's where you know the, the money comes into play, and the Yankees have shown that. But uh, you know, even with that said, I, it always comes down to you know how the guys play together, and, you know, and come together as a club. And uh, L.A. did last year. I give them credit. When you and Sabian look at Sandoval, and we all, that's another one, I hate to keep quoting stuff, but I say, yeah, he looks great on the scale. Let's see what he does, you know. I mean, lost all that weight. In a perfect world, would you like to see him play this year out? Or, uh, let's sign him now, let him relax, and see what happens. Uh, as a manager, I always want my guys signed. Because the comeback is, if you're going to talk one of those $100 million deals, that's a lot of trust to put in a guy who, you know, the basic right. requirement is keeping shape. Right. I guess there's some, you know, some things you can do in the contract. Whether I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Wait, you know. You can do that. I, you know, I don't know the exact rules. Because if I was I, his I, agent, I'd say, hell no, I'm not doing that. Huh? Yeah. But well, you yeah. know, if I if I was a player, I, I wouldn't mind putting it in. You, you know, why? Okay. it's it, it's up to them. It's up to them to have yeah. some responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's their job to keep themselves in the type of shape to, to be the best player they can be for their teammates, for their fans, and, uh, and to help you win. Hudson, this is not just saying that now that he's here, but I remember when he was with the A's, man, there's no better guy than him. Sure you want his arm, sure you want him starting, but this is a guy of a pretty high character guy, which made you go the extra mile for yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's, that's certainly a part of it, Gary. When, when you sign a player, um, you know, you, you're always going to look at the intangibles to make up, but it starts with the talent. And they, I mean, he hurt his ankle, not his arm last year, yeah. and uh, he's still throwing the ball great. But I think uh, on, on the other side, I think he's going to make the other pitchers even better with his experience, his savvy, and uh, you know, the ups and downs that he's had, uh, uh, especially with Timmy. Uh, you know, they're kind of the same type of uh, pitcher uh, as far as stature. And, uh, and it probably has some things that Timmy can relate to. Are the days of Lincecum, Cy Young's gone? I, I wouldn't want to put that on Timmy. A yeah. uh, uh, ceiling on him right now. I, I like the adjustment he made last year. And, uh, you know, great athletes, they, they figure a way to get it done. So uh, who's to say he wouldn't win another Cy Young? He throws a no-hitter last year. And a lot of people thought, yeah. well, he's, you know, he's not the same pitcher. Last one. Are you this way at home, too? If I asked your wife, does Bruce just, he just, hey, I'm I'm cool. Um, I don't know. You know, you, you watch me in the dugout. I, I don't let that belie what's going on, what's happening. Yeah. I think the staff would tell you I'm snapping a lot, and you know I try not to you know show it too much. Uh, you know, if I play for a manager, I wouldn't want somebody going postal in there every time yeah. I made a mistake. It just gets old, right? Nobody yeah, wants to hear you that. know what? You know, you, you do your work, hopefully prepared, then you let them play and, and hopefully support them, and that's kind of my style. But at the same time, uh, I, I have my moments. Believe me, you know. I'm, my wife would tell you too. Okay. Right, but you shoot yeah, 162 games. I, if I if I get on that roller coaster ride emotionally, I'm going to kill myself.